Hi, I'm Vicky from Balloon Market and today I'm going to show you how to make a reindeer column. For this design, you're going to need four standard red latex balloons. We've got five inch gold, so you need two for each cluster, so eight in total. We've got four of mocha brown and then this top balloon is double stuffed with white sand and a clear latex and we've also added in some gold leaf inside as well. And then on top of that, we've just got our reindeer head and you'll need some 15 millimetre red ribbon as well. So the first thing we're going to do is to start making the base. I'm going to double stuff our white sand balloons to start, so I've got them all ready. So I have used some gold leaf inside a clear latex balloon and then double stuffed with a white sand balloon. So to pop the gold leaf inside the balloon, I'm going to use some tweezers and also our neck stretching tool. So you want to push your neck stretching tool all the way into the neck of the balloon. So it's right at the bottom and then pinch it together so it opens up like so. And then I'm just going to, this is the easiest way I found to do it. Some people use funnels, um, but I literally just use tweezers, neck stretching tool and in it goes. So once you've got a little amount in there, you don't need too much, maybe three or four tweezers worth. I'm just going to mix it up a little bit, make sure it's all spread around. And then I'm going to get my white sand latex balloon. I'm just going to roll it up and pop it inside the balloon like that. I know some people use like balloon sticks or needles and that kind of thing for double stuffing. If that's easier, go for that. So I'm now going to inflate these on our inflator here. And I've got our balloon sizer to size the balloons to eight inches. <laughs> So we're just going to size our balloons to eight inches. We'll get there in a minute. There we go. Hopefully this one will be a bit quicker. Okay, so eight inches and then we're going to tie them to make our duplet. So I've got another two of these prepared and we're going to twist them together to make a quad. Just twisted them twice there so they'll sit nicely like that. So I'm going to do that step twice more with our mocha and our red. We'll do the same with the mocha. I'm using the twin air sizer machine which you can set to inflate to eight inches but I know not everyone has got um, a machine that sizes, so that's why I'm using the balloon sizer as well. Twist those together to make our last quad. And then I'm going to use the red for the base and tie on the mocha on top of that. So I'm going to take a neck from the red and a neck from the mocha I'm going to twist them over each other underneath and then bring them to the top. Don't have to do it this way, but I just find it works and then knot it twice. And then we're going to pop our double stuffed balloons on top. So with um, double stuffed balloons, sometimes it's a bit, a bit tougher to um, tie two necks together. So you can take the inside balloon neck. So in this case, it's white sand and you can just use that to tie to the mocha. So if you pull your neck from the mocha balloons up, twist it over the white sand, bring it to the top, and then double knot. Now we'll just position those. Perfect. Okay, so we're now going to attach our reindeer head. I've already filled this one up with air. I used a hand pump, but you can also use a foil pro inflator, which will cut off when the balloon is um, fully inflated, so no chance of popping. So we're going to attach the head to the base using a 260 modelling balloon. I'm going to tie a knot at one at the end that hasn't got the um, opening and then push all the air out and knot it at the other end. So you've got like a ribbon there. You then need to lay it across the neck of your balloon and you want to roll the neck of the balloon up. 
and then you just want to tie a double knot. You've got one, two, and that will give you a good um, attachment point to pull into your base of your balloons. So I'm just going to split that, pull it down through the base, and then you can just wind it around the balloons. There's no need to actually physically tie it, but if you'd prefer to, just to, for peace of mind, you can do that too. And there he is, nice and secure on the top. So the next thing we are going to do is just add a bit more detail. So we're going to use our five inch balloons to make some split duplets. So I've got some five inch um, shiny balloons here. So you want to almost over inflate them so they're quite light bulby shaped. And then you're going to let the air out until it's around, probably around three inches, maybe a little bit less. And that's just to stretch the balloon to give you some room to move the air inside the balloon without it popping. So when you've tied the knot, you want to pull it towards the neck of the balloon. So it looks kind of like that, it looks a little bit odd. Do that again. Let the air out. Tie a knot and pull it down. And then once you've got your two underinflated five inch there, you want to kind of hold it like this with the neck pointing downwards and you're going to twist through the middle to create two sections. You want to try and hold that in your hand at the same time that you do the other one. If you let go, it is going to untwist. So yeah, it's a little bit fiddly, but once you get there, you'll get it. So we've got two like this. We're then going to twist these two together. And it creates some little bubbles like that. So we're going to use these in our design. I've already got some of these prepared. And I'm going to stick them on using some new glue dashes. So you've kind of almost created some little gaps in your display by um, stacking your 12 inch latex balloons. And I'm just going to pop these in the gaps. With the ugly dashes, sometimes you just have to hold it on for a little, little bit just to make sure it's stuck solid. So we've got two on there, and then I'm going to pop two towards the top as well. And then one on top of that one. Just make sure if you've got any necks that are sticking out, you can just tuck those in as well so that they're not visible. So they're all stuck nice and tightly. And the last thing I'm going to add is our little bow to go in the middle. So I've just, I tied this in a simple, um, simple knot, but you can do other fancier bows as well. Just going to add a U glue dash on the back of the bow and then just stick it in the middle there. And here you've got our final reindeer design. Um, so we've used gold leaf in this design because it just adds real value to your, um, your work. It makes it have that luxury kind of finish. Um, this head also comes in different designs. You can, there's a um, elf and a Santa, a snowman. A snowman style like this would look really cute with some um, black buttons up the front. Um, so yeah, hopefully you've got an idea of the kind of things you can make um, and you can change it up to um, your kind of style. So yeah, if you want any more videos, just take a look at our YouTube channel. There's lots of different Christmas designs on there. Thank you for watching.